and will be honored at the annual cart banquet to be held in Los Angeles on Monday night. Right now, as Jill DePerrin continues to work it up to speed, less than one second covers the first 18 cars in this field. 24 have qualified. What a turnaround for Penske Racing has been this year, too. Suddenly moving away from the tried and true combinations that they've supported for so long that finally weren't working for them. Roger makes the decision to move over to the Honda engine. They move on to Firestone tires. At the time, they didn't know that Goodyear was going to be out of the series this year. They moved to the Reynard chassis. And, of course, two new drivers for the year with Gilles DeFerrin and Elio Castnevis. So they started with a clean sheet of paper and are now leading the championship, hosting great performances on all sorts of circuits. During the course of the year, the telltale sign, though, was that Penske 100th victory that came at Nazareth at the hands of this driver, Gilles DeFerrin. At this stage of the game, the one point for the pole would be nice, but not necessary. Michael Andretti at 239.097 miles an hour. That's the target. On the qualifying run, two laps to go, four miles. Adrian Fernandez is well, well down in the field, second in the points, five behind this man, Jill DeFerrin. Parker already suggested flat all the way around. First lap. For Jill DeFerrin, 241.428 miles an hour. That breaks Mauricio Guzman's record. That breaks the close course record. And that puts him on the pole. What a surprise that is. Wow. <laughs> I'm stunned. Oh, and it didn't look all that fast. No, it shows you how easy it